morning, greetings, and welcome, friends, to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I am your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado, registered pharmacist number 12275. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 27 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is always a healing system. It's always a regenerating system, and it is designed to Finally, to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We welcome your phone calls on the bright side at 855-660-4261. That's 855-660-4261. If you want to get off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, help a loved one get off their medications and get on a good supplement program, 855-660-4261 is your number. And, of course, if you want to learn more about the longevity products, you have questions about ingredients or about any of the products you hear us recommend, 855-660-4261 is our number. You can also call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. Make sure you ask them about the Beyond Tangy Tangerine multivitamin mineral complex powder that you add to water and drink. It's a wonderful source of B vitamins and minerals, vitamin B12, vitamin K, vitamin E, vitamin D, typically hard to absorb vitamins. It's a great source of glucosamine, copper, selenium, coenzyme Q10. It's only 50 bucks a canister. Most folks will notice results within one or two doses. Results like weight loss, appetite suppression, reduction in prescription drugs, lower blood pressure, just feeling better, more energy. 50 bucks a canister, folks. What are you waiting for if you haven't given this shot, this stuff a shot yet? You can find out all about it at brightsideben.com, or you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. Make sure you ask about joining the Brightside Ben team as well. For a one-time $10 fee, you can start yourself a longevity business and make some money selling longevity products. All right. Welcome back to the Bright Side. We are talking protein. We are talking peptides. Peptides are the most important biochemicals in the body. We've only really known about these things for about maybe 35 or 40 years. They were first discovered in the mid-1970s. Peptides, as we've said, are little tiny pieces of protein. They are active pieces of protein. They do things. They turn on chemistry in the body, for better or for worse. For worse, in the sense of peptides that get into the blood... These can initiate or turn on immune system reactions, peptides that get into the blood inappropriately through the digestive system. If you've got a messed up digestive system, if you're not processing your protein, if you're not making enough enzymes, if you're not making enough stomach acid, if you've got pancreatic problems or intestinal problems, these peptides can get into your blood. They can initiate blood clotting problems. They can initiate hyperactive immune system problems, and they can cause autoimmunity. In fact, in my opinion anyway, the major cause of autoimmunity is in complete digestion of protein and peptides sneaking into the blood. That means you guys who are dealing with MS or you guys dealing with Sjogren's syndrome or type 1 diabetes or any kind of autoimmunity, any kind of autoimmune health condition, you may want to think about getting yourself on the ultimate enzymes from longevity, which feature protein digesting enzymes called proteases. You can also use apple cider vinegar or betaine HCL or hydrochloric acid drops to improve protein digestion. And pancreatic enzymes can do the same thing. All of these can help you break up your protein foods much more efficiently and prevent little chunks of protein, these little peptides, from getting into your blood. On the plus side, the ledger peptides can act as hormones. They can snuggle themselves into little openings on the outside part of the cell, the so-called cell membrane. And then they can activate activities, reactions inside a cell. This is like a hormone. In fact, peptides are hormones. Peptide hormones, they call them. 
And this is how insulin works. This is how growth hormone works. This is how many of our reproductive hormones work. They're all, they all function as peptide hormones. One of my all-time favorite peptide hormones is melatonin, which works in this fashion. And by the way, it turns out that there's a very interesting relationship between melatonin and oxytocin, which we've been talking about for the last couple of days. We'll tell you about that here in a moment. Peptides are who and what we are. Peptides compared to fats and compared to sugars and compared to minerals and compared to vitamins are the star of the show. Vitamins and sugars and minerals and and fatty substances are like bit players in the biochemical drama compared to the starring role played by peptides. As we said, peptides are a chunk of protein, a string or maybe a necklace of amino acids, which are the tiniest parts of proteins. A peptide is like an amino acid chain. You can have peptides that have two amino acids, we call them dipeptides, or three amino acids, you call them tripeptides, or pentapeptides, or nonapeptides, and they can go as long as 50 or 100 amino acids long. They call those oligopeptides, or maybe even polypeptides, depending on who you ask. On our last program, we talked about a really cool peptide, oxytocin, which was the first peptide that was synthesized for medicinal purposes. You can still, uh, if pregnant women will tell you that they had an oxytocin, uh, oxytocin drip, oxytocin injected right into their, into their blood to induce labor contractions. Oxytocin is the love molecule, the cuddle molecule, the trust molecule, the bonding and social connection molecule. It's involved in all of these wonderful feel-good kinds of, uh, feel-good kinds of effects that we have in terms of social bonding. It's a social bonding neuropeptide. Oxytocin is a nona peptide. It's made up of nine amino acids. One of the most important facets of peptide hormone interactions involves the bonding interaction, the connection between a peptide hormone and what is called a receptor, this this, uh, little opening that sits on top of the cell. Yesterday, we talked about how it's like a lock and a key, where the lock is the receptor and the key is the oxytocin or the peptide hormone. It sits into the lock. It turns the lock, and a chemical reaction is initiated inside a cell. Peptide hormones sit inside a receptor like a key sits inside of a lock and turn on, uh, this can turn on chemical reactions inside of a cell. Now this receptor or this opening or this lock or this socket that sits on, side of, uh, on the outside part of the cell sits on the membrane because the membrane is largely composed of cholesterol. Cholesterol plays a really important role in supporting the reactivity and the effectiveness of peptide hormones. Cholesterol, yes, our old friend, demonized and vilified as it may be, can help improve the effects of peptide hormones. Cholesterol can help improve the relaxation effects of oxytocin. Cholesterol can help improve the lovey-dovey effects of of oxytocin. Eating cholesterol, or you could even use cholesterol-raising supplements, which you can find on the Internet. All of these can help support the relaxation and the lovey, uh, lovey-dovey ecstasy social bonding effects of oxytocin. Yesterday we talked about the relationship between low cholesterol and social anxiety disorders and autism. This is a recent development in the science of autism, and it's something everyone needs to be thinking about even if they're not dealing with an autistic disorder. Cholesterol is needed to activate brain proteins that are involved in mood control and anger management and brain development. According to Dr. William Shaw, a clinical chemical a clinical chemist and toxicologist from Kansas City and the author of several books on autism, including one really cool book called Biological Treatments for Autism and PDD, which stands for Pervasive Development Disorder. Another book he wrote called Autism Beyond the Basics. Dr. Shaw says even non-autistic patients with cholesterol deficiency are more prone to anger problems, aggressive behavior problems, attention deficit disorder problems, immune issues, movement disorders. This is all stuff that you can improve by eating cholesterol. Go tell that to your cardiologist and see what happens. As far as our love and bonding molecule goes, cholesterol is essential for the binding of oxytocin to cell receptors. And I'll tell you what I mean when we come back from our break. I am Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. And we will be back right after this. Don't go away. I had tried everything. I'd cut back the amount of food I was eating. I was lifting weights and jogging, but nothing was working. 
My body was literally starving for minerals and trace elements as well as key vitamins. And as soon as I had that, I immediately could eat half of what I was eating previously and be satisfied. Now, there are hundreds of great products at InfoWarsTeam.com, but I want to point out the three that have helped me lose 37 pounds in just two months. Products like Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Pollen Burst, and Rebound. When I started taking the Tangy Tangerine and other products every day, I lost more than 37 pounds in just two months. Now that's results. I want to challenge my listeners to go to InfoWarsTeam.com and to order just three of their products, and you will see the changes in the way you look, feel, and in your appetite almost immediately. Start your journey to health and wellness today. InfoWarsTeam.com. Quantitative easing, unemployment at depression levels, Europe financial system falling apart, China getting out of U.S. treasuries. At the end of 2008, the time of TARP, the national debt was at 11 trillion gold, trading around $850 per ounce. Close to 2012, the national debt exceeded 16.4 trillion, gold doubled to $1,600 per ounce. The 20 trillion threshold for the national debt is inevitable. Politicians in Washington have a ferocious appetite for spending and stimulus. What's worse, a printing press to finance. A hundred years ago, we had a gold standard to limit this madness, but now you have to adopt your own gold standard. Don't be fooled with paper promises. Get Midas Resources 10 Reasons to Buy Gold free by calling 800-686-2237. Understanding the gold and silver market may be the only insurance you could have to avoiding the next economic crisis. Call 1-800-686-2237 and order your free copy. Again, that's 800-686-2237. My name is Frank Bates, and i got a confession to make. Just a few days ago, FEMA went directly to my supplier and tried to buy my entire stockpile of high-quality survival food. It sounds crazy, but I'll show you the exact letter they sent in a minute. Revealing FEMA's plot could land me in hot water, but I think you deserve to know exactly what they're doing. Go to FEMAHatesThis.com to see undeniable video proof that the government is on the hunt for as much survival food as they can grab in 24 hours. Be warned, it's really disturbing because the fact is FEMA must know something we don't. Go to FEMAHatesThis.com to see why survival food is the number one item to hoard right now and why supplies are so low or even completely sold out already at many stores across America. Do it now because I don't know how long it will be online, so go to FEMAHatesThis.com while you can. That's FEMAHatesThis.com. We live in a complicated society. Stressful issues are always popping up. Have you ever been treated unfairly by someone? Have you ever been overcharged for a repair? Have you ever signed a contract or a document? Worried about identity theft? How many times have you been in those unique situations where you just wanted to call an attorney to find out if you're right or wrong or what your legal rights are? But every time you think about calling an attorney, what do you think about first? That's right. Who do you call and how much will it cost? Our friends at Legal Shield have found a solution. With a nationwide network of 6,900 attorneys who average over 19 years of experience, Legal Shield's law firms take over 40,000 calls per week helping their members. For less than $20 per month, you can have access to Legal Shield on everything from the trivial to the traumatic. Let Legal Shield stand up for your rights at lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com. Or call 855-340-SAVE. 855-340-7283. Are you tired of searching for great talk radio? Something more important. Search no more. We are the GCN Radio Network. All right, we're back on the bright side. Thank you for being here, friends. We're here Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive page, brightsideben.com. You'll find a shopping cart up there with all the longevity products. You can also call... The Brightside Ben phone team, if you want to purchase any of the products that you hear us talk about on the program, they're at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. And make sure you check out my blog, pharmacistben.com, which we update regularly. I've got a post on iodine that I did today. Hopefully that will be up today. I'm going to be on Alex's show, Alex Jones' show, tomorrow talking a little bit about iodine. And I thought it would be appropriate to write a little bit about iodine and nascent iodine as well. And that's up at pharmacistben.com. 
All right, uh, so cholesterol. Cholesterol is essential for the binding of oxytocin to cell receptors. Cholesterol is very important for the binding of all peptide hormones to cell receptors. That's because cholesterol forms a large component of the membrane of which these receptors are embedded in. I'm telling you, I don't want to talk, I, we talk about cholesterol all the time, and I don't want to beat a dead horse here, but folks, if you're messing around with your body's ability to make cholesterol, you are truly, truly playing with fire. And any medical professional who poisons or recommends poisoning the cholesterol manufacturing system is simply biochemically ignorant. Biochemically ignorant. Cholesterol is vitally, vitally important. As far as cells go, it controls the shape of receptors. And by controlling the shape of receptors, it allows oxytocin as well as other peptide hormones to fit in to that receptor site. And this should come as no surprise given cholesterol's important role in keeping cell membranes healthy. Cholesterol is also very important for brain health. It's important for neural health in general, aside from oxytocin. All these are great reasons to avoid, stay away, not to waste your time or your money on statin drugs and not to pay any attention to that medical silliness about pharmacologically poisoning cholesterol synthesis manufacturing, cholesterol synthesis machinery to force the body to stop making this critical chemical cholesterol. One of the best non-drug ways to increase your oxytocin levels, to increase this peptide hormone of life and love and ecstasy, is to practice deep breathing techniques. How do you like that? Yet another benefit for brief, brief, deep breathing techniques. The effects of oxytocin are diminished in response to low levels of oxygen, and by increasing your breathing, you can help improve the body's ability and the brain's ability to respond to the love chemical. Given the important relationship of the parasympathetic, the rest and digest nervous system, makes sense that deep breathing techniques are going to boost oxytocin effects. Oxytocin is a rest and digest and relaxation and sex and love chemical. And the parasympathetic, the rest and digest nervous system, regulates all of these functions. So deep breathing, relaxation, uh, these are both great ways to boost your own oxytocin levels. Next time you do your deep breathing exercises, which we should be doing, a minute or two or three minutes every day. Picture oxytocin being secreted from the cells of your brain and your heart and your reproductive system and picture that oxytocin flooding through your circulation. Visualize it as you're doing your deep breathing techniques. The effects of visualization and imagination can help increase the relaxation effects of and the love effects of oxytocin. oxytocin. As you're doing your breathing exercises, you're going to notice a sense of peace. You're going to notice a sense of letting go. And if you do it long enough, you're going to notice a sensation of love and joyfulness and bliss probably as well. In fact, anything we do that activates our parasympathetic nervous system is going to have oxytocin-stimulating effects, cuddling with a loved one, petting your dog or your cat, being touched, getting a massage, hanging out with friends and family and loved ones. These are all great ways to stimulate oxytocin. Hugs can do it. Watching relaxing or romantic movies can have a beneficial effect on oxytocin levels. One of my favorite ways to boost oxytocin levels is simply to do eye contact. I remember taking a personal development course a couple of years ago, and there was an exercise we all did where we, uh, where we looked into each other's eyes for 15 minutes or 10 or 15 minutes, just straight looked into each other's eyes. And by the end of 10 or 15 minutes of looking into somebody's eyes, you get this warm kind of sensation, this fuzzy, lovey feeling. Little did I know at the time, but as it turns out, what I was doing was raising oxytocin levels. That's why eye contact can be so important and eye contact can be so effective in social bonding and in relationships. According to Dr. Paul Zak, who wrote the book The Moral Molecule, dancing, singing, even doing karaoke can improve the love-inducing effects, the peaceful effects of oxytocin. According to Dr. Zach, using Facebook and using Twitter and other social networking sites can also have a beneficial effect on oxytocin levels. Meditation can improve oxytocin levels, and according to the website ask.com, Eating protein foods like turkey and cottage cheese and nuts and, and eggs and cheese can all help improve oxytocin levels and enhance oxytocin activity in the brain as well. Then there's this whole relationship of peptides in general to 
skin health. Now, we touched on this last week about how peptides are so important for skin health and how you can use topical peptides on the skin to improve the, improve the, uh, improve the health of the skin. Some of the latest and greatest skincare products have peptides as active ingredients. Almost everything we want in our skincare products, almost everything, everything we want our skincare products to do, whether we're talking about moisturizing the skin or helping skin cells grow or improving skin cell detoxification, improving the production of connective tissue fibers like collagen, stimulating the production of water-trapping fats and sugars and amino acids, all of these have at least a little bit of a relationship to do, a little bit of a relationship with peptides and peptide communication. Peptides have a commanding role. They act like command molecules. They sit on top of that receptor and they order the cell to do things. So by using a peptide topically, you can have skin cells, you can improve the ability of skin cells to make moisture factors, make, uh, make uh, a collagen and tightening fibers. You can have better looking, healthier, younger looking skin by using peptides in skincare products. In fact, if you want to have beautiful, healthy skin, there's probably a peptide somewhere that can help you do that. If you want tighter skin, firmer skin, more youthful skin, there's peptides that are involved in tightening the skin, firming the skin, and providing youthfulness as well. And this is why some of the most popular and expensive and effective skincare products you can get are loaded with peptides. I've been formulating personally, I've been personally formulating peptide products for almost 15 years. And if you look up Sanitas Peptiderm Products, S-A-N-I-T-A-S, you'll find three really effective peptide skincare products that I've formulated and that I've been selling for, mm, gosh, since the mid, I, th- I think I did the first Peptiderm product in 2002 or 2003. You get Peptiderm Eye Cream, Peptiderm Moisturizing Cream, and Peptiderm Serum. You can find all of those out on the, you can find out about all those on the web. Protein ingredients in general have always been prized in skincare. Eggs and milk and colostrum and butter has all been used by women for softening and improving skin, and men too, for softening and improving skin texture and appearance. But it wasn't until our ability to me- uh, manipulate peptide synthesis at the genetic level that it really got to the point where peptide ingredients could be used and produced industrially. This is when the golden age of peptide ingredients and peptide containing skincare products really began. It was in the late 1990s. Peptides are the products of genes. Your genes make peptides. Your genes, that's what they do. Your genes code, or, or you could say they make peptides. The first peptide products appeared in the marketplace right around the first, right around uh, the beginning of, uh, or right around the end of the, uh, of the Human Genome Project. The Human Genome Project was a big project that was done by scientists to try to figure out all the different genes in the human genome. And when they finished it, when they finished mapping all of the genes in, in our DNA around the mid-1990s, that that's when peptides really began to be uh, popularized in skincare products. All right, we're coming back with more good health information. Got a full board for you when you hear somebody drop off. If you want to give us a shout, that's your cue to give us a call at 855-660-4261. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We've got more good health information coming at you right after this. Don't go. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock-bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right. General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these specials. A 14 by 21 foot shop for under 6000 or a 50 by 100 for under 30000 You heard right. That's 5000 square feet under $30,000. Manufacturers, if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for $129,000. You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. So call 866-91-STEEL. 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. For over five years, you've been hearing about the Berkey guy, so you may know a few things about him. For example, you are well aware of the superior quality and effectiveness of Berkey water filters and accessories. But did you know the Berkeys have had independent lab tests done to prove just how effective they are? It's true, and he can email you the test results. Just visit GoBerkey.com. You may also know that the Berkey guy has helped tens of thousands of people get better prepared. Now, here's something you may not know. GoBerkey.com has amazing specials and deals all the time on a wide variety of survival and preparedness products. 
Most ready to ship same day. Visit the Berkey Guy at GoBerkey.com and be sure to click the red Products on Sale Now button. You can always call toll-free 877-886-3653. Again, that's 877-886-3653. GoBerkey.com, home of the Berkey Guy. An e-cig revolution is sweeping across the country. But is yours American-made? Vapriate e-liquid by LeSig is. Manufactured in Arkansas with 100% USA-sourced ingredients. And when you buy American, you support local jobs. Vapriate e-liquid by LeSig is top quality at an affordable price. The very principle that once drove the American economy. Get great taste with no ash, tar, or smoke. You'll be wondering why you didn't make the change to Vapriate e-liquid by LeSig a long time ago. LeSig.com has everything you need for beginners to the advanced vaping enthusiast with a wide variety of hardware and also imported e-liquid flavors as well. Plus, Lasig smokes the competition with fast free same day shipping, real people customer service, and a 30 day satisfaction guarantee. Support our country and become a Vapriot at Lasig.com or call 870-525-1440 870-525-1440 Lasig e-cigarettes for today's modern smoker. Which do you love best, Thanksgiving dinner or leftovers? The meal takes such time and effort, you wish it was easier so you could have it more often. Well, right now it is. Right now you can. Imagine your family enjoying the ultimate comfort food easily during stressed out times of a disaster or emergency or outdoors while camping or hiking. The freeze-dried feast from Freeze Dry Guy is a special case of Thanksgiving dinner ready for you any day of the year for at least 25 years. Freeze-dried turkey tetrazzini, green beans, dehydrated potatoes, and sweet potatoes. Yes, even dessert. This delicious feast is ready to eat when you want or need it most easily in just minutes. Go to freezedryguy.com or call 866-404-3663, 866-404-FOOD. There's free shipping, plus your family could win a free traditional Thanksgiving dinner. Go now to freezedryguy.com. One in every 50 homes will have a break-in this year. Burglars call it smash and grab. Police call it robbery. We call it avoidable. We are Fake TV, a simple electronic device that can fool even professional burglars. Fake TV easily plugs into any outlet and simulates the changing colors of a television. To a burglar, it looks like someone must be home watching TV, so they'll likely move on to an easier target. At only $29.95, Fake TV costs less than a month of most alarm monitoring plans and comes with free shipping. Order your Fake TV by calling 877-5-FAKE-TV or go to faketv.com. That's 877-532-5388 or faketv.com. Fake TV, the burglar deterrent. The GCN Radio Network, providing the world with hard-hitting talk radio. GCN. Great talk radio starts here. Back on the bright side, tomorrow we'll continue talking about peptides and skincare. I'll tell you about the first peptide, and it's still out actually, and it's still the most effective, in my opinion, peptide that you can use on a topical skincare product. And if you're looking for a good peptide product, it's one that you want to one that you want to look for. I'll tell you what that is tomorrow. I use it in my Sunita skincare products as well. As we continue talking about peptides and proteins and bodybuilding and skin building, all as it has to do with the anabolism of bone to help prevent osteoporosis. We'll continue doing that on our next Bright Side episode tomorrow. Okay, 855-660-4261 is our number. Let's go to Texas and welcome Tony to the Bright Side. What's up, Tony? How you doing? Well, I'm doing good now, but a couple weeks ago I had strep throat, and I had to take uh, antibiotics to knock it out. Okay. And I was just wondering, was there another alternative to antibiotics? Um, yeah, what, absolutely. What did, do, what did that do to my digestive system? Well, get yourself on probiotics and fermented foods as soon as possible. That's what you want to do when you're, when you're, whenever you're taking an antibiotic. As soon as you're done with the course of therapy, or even while you're on the course of therapy, make sure you're using your, ultim, your, uh, your uh, nightly essence from longevity, your probiotics, and eating fermented food. You don't want to eat, take your probiotics or eat your fermented food with 
your antibiotics, because your antibiotics will kill the bacteria. But a couple hours, three, four hours after you take your dose of antibiotics, make sure that you're loading up on probiotics. And certainly when you're done with your course of therapy, which you should always complete, once you start on an antibiotic, you always want to complete that course of therapy. Not completing the course of therapy is a great way to set your bacteria up for bacterial resistance, and that's something that you don't want to have happen. As far as your question goes, first of all, I don't know if I'd ever use an antibiotic for strep throat. In fact, I wouldn't use an antibiotic for strep throat. Antibiotic resistance is a serious problem, and overuse of antibiotics is the cause of MRSA and other what they call superbugs, antibiotic-resistant bacteria. Just having strep throat is not, in my opinion anyway, a good enough reason to use an antibiotic. Colloidal silver, uh, gargling with colloidal silver, you making a colloidal silver spray can help with strep throat. Using iodine, which we're which we uh, talked about a little bit before uh, uh, in our monologue here today, using iodine can help uh, with... uh with, uh, sore th- with a strep throat or sore throat, you put a couple of drops of Lugol solution or some iodine, maybe betadine solution into a mouthwash and gargle with it. That's another thing that you could do. Some people like gargling with vitamin C. You should also be using vitamin C if you have strep throat as well, and that can be helpful too. Baking soda sometimes helps. If you have really, really painful, uh, a painful sore throat, you might want to think about getting a prescription for something called lidocaine spray. Lidocaine is a topical anesthetic, and by spraying it, a dilute solution, you can kind of numb the throat. You have to have a pharmacist make that for you. You need a prescription for that. But I would be using, personally, I would be using uh, the colloidal silver as well as perhaps iodine, and I would never take an antibiotic just for strep throat. And absolutely, Tony, your point's well taken, that you want to use probiotics and fermented foods and, and maybe even vitamin C as well when you're done with your course of therapy. Does that help you, Tony? Yeah, I did some of that. Uh, would, would bentonite clay help, too? The bentonite clay isn't going to necessarily help the throat, but it will definitely help clear out bacteria. And using bentonite clay on a regular basis is a wonderful detoxification strategy. I'm looking for a good source of bentonite clay along with my uh, web designer, Robert, and we are going to be hopefully soon selling bentonite clay on our website at, at uh, either pharmacistben.com or breaksideben.com. All right, does that help you, Tony? Yeah, thanks, thanks. Thank you, buddy. Have a beautiful day, and let us move on to Anne-Marie in California. What's up, Anne-Marie? Welcome to the Bright Side. Hi, Ben. Thanks for taking my call. Sure. What's um, going on? I am a longevity um, distributor, and I have a client who called me, said that she was just diagnosed with high blood pressure, okay. and the medication that she's taking, and I don't know the name of it, is making her feel pretty bad. Yeah. And so she's open to natural alternatives. All right. So what can Easy. we recommend? couple of things. Number one, the medication they give you for high blood pressure poisons the circulatory system, poisons the heart. They're called beta, well, a lot of different drugs they use. They use diuretics, but the main drugs are called beta blockers. And these drugs poison the circulatory system to lower the blood pressure. This is, the, this is doctor strategy, medical strategy. Let's poison the heart. I'm not kidding you here, by the way. I'm not being poetic and I'm not being uh, hyperbolic. I'm not exaggerating. This is exactly what a beta blocker for high blood pressure does or a calcium channel blocker for high blood pressure does. It poisons the heart. Now, what kind of medical professional thinks that's a good idea to poison the heart or the circulatory system? Excuse me. It just makes me so friggin' angry when I think about that. High blood pressure is a sign of a body in distress. It's one of the ways the body's stress response shows up. The first thing you want to do for high blood pressure and the easiest way to lower uh, high blood pressure is to practice your deep breathing techniques. Low levels of oxygen will cause hypertension as fast or faster than anything else. So simply by sitting on on your couch and watching TV and practicing your deep breathing techniques, you'll notice that your blood pressure will drop. And if you don't believe me, go get a blood pressure cuff and try it. The second thing you want to do is start to use good, uh, well, the second thing you want to do is avoid any kind of problem foods. If peptides get into the blood, as we've been talking about, if there's incomplete digestion of protein or leaky gut syndrome and stuff gets into the blood that shouldn't, again, this is going to be interpreted as a major stressor, and this will also cause hypertension. So correcting digestive issues is the second important thing you want to do. Breathing, correcting digestive issues. The third thing is use nutritional supplements, and there's wonderful nutritional supplements for lowering blood pressure. Magnesium is a superstar. Uh, antihypertensive, uh, get her on the os- get your friend on the osteomag, around 1,000 to 2,000 milligrams a day of magnesium glycinate. Niacin, another superstar for lowering blood pressure. Uh, vitamin B3, I would be using timed release niacin, around 200 milligram, uh, 200 milligram daily dose of timed release niacin. It goes by the name Nicobid. There's a few of them, but that's one of them. It goes by the name Nicobid. And always when you're taking your niacin, make sure you take it with the entire B-complex, 
products. So that means sip on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine all day long. Coenzyme Q10 can also help lower blood pressure, as can Coenzyme Q10's cousin, which is vitamin E. I'd be using about 100 milligrams or so of, uh, of oil-soluble Coenzyme Q10 and around 400 international units a day of vitamin E, especially in the mixed tocopherol or mixed tocotrienol form. You'll have to get that on the Internet. And then uh, just overall good nutrition, including essential fatty acids, can also have a wonderful effect on lowering blood pressure. Omega-3 fatty acids, especially omega-3 fatty acids from either flaxseed oil or fish oil, both have wonderful effects on lowering blood pressure. So you got a lot of strategies there. Uh, I didn't even mention insulin and lowering blood sugar. That's another really important thing to do for hypertension. As any diabetic knows, high blood pressure and diabetes go hand in hand. So correcting any blood sugar problems that you might have can also be helpful. You can use the chromium and vanadium, the sweet product, as well as the B vitamin thiamine, in addition to the B vitamins niacin and B12. Uh, B12 also is a very important antihypertensive B vitamin. I like a form of vitamin B12 called dibenkazide, which is kind of an activated form of B12, but any B12 will work, even B12 injections, which in my opinion, everybody over the age of 50 or 60 should be using uh, B12 injections. Uh, and all those can have great effects on lowering blood pressure. Let's see if there's anything else I want to tell you about. Um, Electrolytes also, and you get those in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Potassium has an antihypertensive effect on its own, but taking potassium uh, with all of your electrolytes, either in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine or vegetables and vegetable juices and vegetable soups, which are also good sources of electrolytes, those can all have nice blood pressure lowering effects. Lots of things you could do. There is no need for anybody to be on a prescription drug for hypertension unless it's a hypertensive emergency, in which case maybe for a, a day or two days you can get yourself on a drug, but after that, there's no need for anybody to be on a prescription drug for high blood pressure. It is strictly a manifestation of a body in distress. Remove the stress, remove the distress, and the blood pressure will drop. Thank you so much for your call, Anne Marie in California. All right, got a few more calls to take here and a line open for you. We will get to your phone calls when we come back from our break. I am Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back after this. Pharmacist Ben Fuchs knows the importance of proper digestion. Make sure you take a look at the ultimate enzyme product. They're made with bile salts and fat digestion enzymes and protein digestive enzymes. And not only do the ultimate enzymes give you obvious benefits for digestion, but they can also help keep your blood flowing through your circulatory system. As most of you probably know by now, thick, sludgy, clotting blood is a serious risk factor for heart disease and stroke. Clearly, inappropriate and excessive blood clotting is a major health issue, and thick, sludgy blood is not just about heart health either. Sludgy blood can compromise oxygenation and nutrient delivery to all your cells and tissues and organs and ultimately lead to almost any health issue you can name. Concerned about proper digestion and heart health? Order Ultimate Enzymes by calling 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470 or on the web at brightsidebed.com. That's brightsidebed.com. Order today. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curb appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. Stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone. At 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866.
great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy byproducts from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters. For the love of clean water. If you owe the IRS back taxes, listen carefully. Sweeping changes to IRS policies will help more people than ever eliminate their tax debts once and for all. And now I can help you reduce or eliminate your tax debts and end your tax nightmare. Hi, I'm Dan Pilla. I've helped thousands of people reduce and eliminate tax debts they couldn't pay. And after more than 30 years of experience dealing with the IRS, I can tell you there's no such thing as a hopeless tax case. And with the IRS's new policies, it's easier than ever to put your tax debt behind you once and for all. Call now at 800-346-6829 to learn how I can help you. You know your IRS debt will not go away by itself, but you don't have to live in fear anymore. Call 800-346-6829. Learn how I can help you eliminate wage and bank levies, release tax liens, and negotiate a settlement with the IRS that will put your tax nightmare behind you forever. Call 800-34-NO-TAX or go to TaxHelpOnline.com. That's TaxHelpOnline.com. America's number one source for independent talk radio for over a decade. We are the GCN Radio Network. Welcome back to the Bright Side, Kathleen in Massachusetts. What's going on? Hey, Ben, how are you today? I'm doing good. What's cooking? Uh, I wanted to give you a uh, success story. Mmm. Awesome. I love hearing those. What's going on? i got a couple of them. Oh, good. Uh, a couple of months ago, I called you about a friend of mine who was given, continually giving higher doses of metformin. And okay. her next was going on insulin. And she was, they, they gave the good IV drip their metformin and couldn't control her diabetes. She was constantly over 200. And they, they just told her next step is uh, insulin. So I asked her if she wanted to try doing something different. She was all for it. Um, so she just got retested last week, and her results are in March when she got tested initially. Her A1C was 8.7, right? And now it's 6.6. That is awesome. In in four months, four or six months. Nice. I'm sorry. And it's since March, you say? Yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. And what did she do? She was on the Sweeties, I take it, right? She was on the Sweeties. She did the uh, BCK and one world away for protein. That is awesome news. Thank you for sharing that. What else do you have? Yeah, and her, just to let you know, her average sugar uh, in March was 203, and yeah. now it's 38. It's 138 from 203? Yes. Oh, my goodness. That is, she must be loving life. She must love you, Kathleen. <laughs> You're a hero. Very happy. But um, the kicker was, I said, well, your doctor was been thrilled. And she said, no, she was kind of insulted. <laughs> The doctor was insulted. I was like, wow, didn't she want to know what you were taking? Because she's taking copies of the labels, you know, just in case she wanted to know. She was really thrilled about sharing this, maybe helping somebody else. And the doctor was like, well, you know, eventually you'll have to go on insulin anyway. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's (laughs) crazy. Is there another one? Yeah. Actually, with me, I I spoke with you about uh, having really bad night sweats and flashes during the day. Okay. You told me about uh, pregnenolone and okay. digestive cream. Yeah. Haven't had one since. Oh, that's awesome, Kathleen. Thank you so much for sharing that. I appreciate it. Kathleen, shoot me an email with your address, and I'll send you out a Beyond Tangy Tangerine freebie. Oh, sweet. Love you. <laughs> okay, good deal. Thanks so much, Kathleen. I appreciate you sharing that. I love success stories, man. Hey, Rob in Canada, welcome to the Bright Side. Hey, how are you doing? What's up? How can we help you? Hi, so I'm a Daniel Gravis. Rob, I need you to speak up, bro. Speak up, speak louder. Hi, can you hear me? A little bit better. Speak really loud. Yeah. Uh, can you hear me now? Yeah. 
Yeah, so I have Modinia's Gravis. Modinia's Gravis, and a Star Sneaker, too. Uh, Rob, I just can't hear you, bro. I am so sorry. Can you speak really slowly and in, into the mic? Yeah, sorry about that. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Can you hear me? I hear you now, but but go ahead and speak slowly. Okay, so so I have Medina's Gravis. Medina's Gravis. Gravis. Okay. Yeah. You want some, you want some help with yeah. that? Yeah. So it's hard for me to chew, and all I'm doing. Yeah. So can you help me with that? Okay, good. Yes, absolutely can help you with myasthenia gravis. Myasthenia gravis is an autoimmune disease of the muscles. Is it affecting your face? Did you say or your mouth? Yeah, I can too. Okay. My eyelids. Yeah. Okay, got it. Okay, so myasthenia gravis is just another flavor of autoimmune disease. It's when the, the body's immune system, which should be defending itself, defending the body against the enemy, instead attacks itself. In the case of myasthenia gravis, it attacks the muscles. It doesn't, and this is the most fundamental thing I could tell you guys about autoimmune diseases, it doesn't matter where that autoimmune disease shows up as far as healing and reversing the process. It doesn't matter if it's the muscles, the pancreas, the, the joints, the thyroid, the skin. It doesn't matter where it is. It matters that it is. It matters that the immune system has somehow turned on itself. The main reason why this occurs is because things get into the blood that shouldn't be into the blood. The only way things get into the blood inappropriately is through the mouth. They could be injected theoretically, but for the most part, it go, things get into the blood through the digestive system, through foods. So first and foremost, Rob, focus on problem foods. Nobody has an autoimmune disease that has not first had a digestive problem for years. It doesn't just happen. Autoimmune disease is a, is a degenerative disease process. It occurs over the course of time, and it begins with digestive problems. So first thing you want to do, and this is not just for Rob in Canada. This is for everybody who's dealing with autoimmunity. And the worse it is, the more, this is, the more critical this is to do. Start by fasting. Take two days off from food. Just drink. If you, if you absolutely can't uh, stop eating food, drink chicken soup or something bland, uh, uh, beyond tangy tangerine or lemon juice. The less you put in your body, the better off you'll be. Simply by fasting, just by fasting for two days, you're going to start to notice a, a reduction in your autoimmune symptoms. Now, you're going to have to eventually start eating again. And as you start eating, you want to do something called the mono diet. That's where you spend all day just eating one type of food and try to pick your favorite food. Spend all day eating cheese if you like cheese, or spend all day eating bread if you like bread, or spend all day eating ice cream if you like ice cream, or whatever your favorite food is, that's usually going to be a, or a, it's one of the most likely suspects to be causing a problem. And you'll know it's a problem because when you start eating that food, you're going to feel like crap again. Your autoimmune symptoms will come back, whatever they are, you'll start to notice that you've got more inflammation, and then you'll know that's a food that you have to eliminate. And then the next day, you do the same thing with another kind of food. And you keep doing this until you start to eliminate all your foods, and you find foods that you can eat, then you stick with those foods. In general, the less food you eat, the lower... the uh, the more uh, reduced your autoimmune symptoms are going to be. So eating less food and eliminating problem foods are the first step to reversing autoimmunity. The second thing you want to do is you want to start patching up the digestive system. Rob, get yourself on the Z-Radical. It's wonderful for patching up the digestive system and has the bonus effect of stimulating the immune system. Aloe juice, noni juice, that can also do it. I would be using digestive enzymes after all meals. I'd be using apple cider vinegar after all meals, and I'd be using 80 at least excuse me, at least 80 billion units a day of the, of the, uh, ult, of the uh, nightly essence product from longevity. That is 80 billion units of bacteria a day, multiple strains of bacteria. If you don't want to use the nightly essence, just find another product that has multiple strains of bacteria and that can supp supply you with 80 billion units a day. Then get yourself on fermented foods. Make sure you're using sauerkraut, fermented beets, kimchi, miso. Anything that's a fermented food is going to help with the digestive tract. Use your bone soup as the main source of protein. It's liquid protein. It's easy to absorb protein, and uh, it also has wonderful immune-boosting nutrients in there as well. Uh, they call it Jewish penicillin because it actually acts as a natural antibiotic and can help support the immune system. And then last but most certainly not least, you want to use anti-inflammatory nutrients. Vitamin E is probably the most important of the anti-inflammatory nutrients. I'm using 400 international units a day of vitamin E, and then uh, vitamin C is also a very important anti-inflammatory nutrient. I'd be using 5 to 10 grams of vitamin C a day. And last but 
most certainly not least, anything you could do to build glutathione. Glutathione is the body's primary immune system, chemical, primary cancer fighter, primary detoxifier, primary antioxidant. And anything you could do to support glutathione building is going to be in your interest. If you can, ideally, you can actually get glutathione intravenously, and that's a great way to support the immune system, great way to deal with cancer. You don't want to go, if you don't want to go all out and have glutathione injections or glutathione intravenous uh, put into your body intravenously, you can build glutathione by using glutamine supplements, by using NAC supplements. I'd be using around 400 milligrams a day of NAC. That stands for N-acetylcysteine. You can buy that at a health food store. And uh, also maybe five grams, four or five grams, that's a teaspoon of glutamine powder. And then also sulfur and selenium to ha- help activate that glutathione. MSM sulfur, maybe three grams. That's 3,000 milligrams a day. And then uh, maybe around 400 to 600 micrograms of the OPC selenium a day. Rob, if you do even 50% of what I just told you, especially the fasting and especially noticing the problem foods and eliminating those problem foods, you should start to notice a reduction in your symptoms. And once those symptoms, re- this is very important about autoimmunity, once you start to beef up the immune system, once you start to uh, eliminate the symptoms and the inflammation, the body will take care of it, uh, the healing process itself. You don't have to do anything to help the body heal. It's in the body's nature to heal, but what you do have to do is eliminate any, any eliminate anything that is getting into the body that's preventing the healing process process from kicking in and make sure you're supporting the healing process with good nutrition. And then I should tell you last but most certainly not least, make sure that you're I'm getting on a good protein supplement like the One World Way, which can be very, very helpful for the immune system as long as you don't have any digestive issues. Is that okay, Rob? Okay, thank you. Thank you. God bless and good luck. All right, uh, let's see if we get one more call in here. Karen in Ohio, got about a minute. What's going on? Hi, yeah, my dad uh, has metastatic bone cancer in his spine, just diagnosed, and it's very painful. Um, Painkillers are not helping, and uh, now he has constipation. So I wanted to see what kind of supplements he should be on. There's a lot you could do, but I'm not going to be able to tell you in five or ten seconds, which is all we have left. If you call back tomorrow, I'll be glad to help you out. In general, you want to regard cancer as a fast-moving system, and anything you do to slow the body down is going to help. Uh, That means fasting, and that means deep breathing techniques. You can also use intravenous. Nutrition, as I was talking about with Rob, intravenous glutathione, intravenous vitamin C, intravenous B complex, intravenous magnesium can also be helpful. But if you call back tomorrow, Karen, I'll be glad to give you more information about cancer. All right, thanks so much for joining us, friends. Tomorrow we'll continue talking about peptides and peptides and skin care. And check out my blog, pharmacistben.com. Got a good post on iodine that should be up today. That's all the time we have for today. I am Pharmacist Ben. You've been listening to the bright side. You all have a wonderful, beautiful day. We will talk to you later. Bye for now. That's the sound of a 44 Magnum and Trauma Max, a high tech hybrid Kevlar bulletproof vest from InfidelBodyArmor.com, will stop it and most pistol rounds. Trauma Max is a major breakthrough in pistol rated body armor, and prices start at just $170 per insert. More protection, more stopping power, more mobility, and it weighs less than five pounds. Get details at InfidelBodyArmor.com. That's I N F I D E L BodyArmor.com. Hi, I'm Ed Krell, CEO of Destination Maternity. We proudly support the March of Dimes work to reduce the rate of premature birth. The numbers have gone down in the past five years, but still, nearly half a million babies are born too soon in the United States each year. We're helping the March of Dimes fund cutting-edge research and community programs to help more moms have full-term pregnancies and healthy babies. Join us in working together for stronger, healthier babies. Visit MarchofDimes.com. Big business has discovered the preparedness market, and that makes it difficult to know where to go and who to trust. MyPatriotSupply.com is owned and operated by patriots just like you. Has the best prices on storable food, non-GMO seeds, water filtration devices, home canning equipment, survival and self-reliance books, and more. MyPatriotSupply.com has old-fashioned values and the absolute best customer service in the industry. Look for the deal of the day. Unique, affordable survival. 
survival supplies that fit anyone's budget. Get same-day shipping on all orders and free shipping on orders over $49. Call 866-229-0927, 866-229-0927, or visit MyPatriotSupply.com for emergency preparedness, self-reliance, and food independence. Shop with a name you know and a name you can trust. Before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. MyPatriotSupply.com. 